What if the food that fills your plate is quietly failing you, leaving you full but undernourished day after day? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're examining nutrient depleted soil and what it means for your food. You'll hear how crop breeding, soil practices, and storage methods have lowered the vitamins and minerals you expect from familiar foods, and what you can do about it. I'm Alara Skye. More than 2 billion people live with micronutrient deficiencies, and many don't know it. You can meet your calorie needs and still fall short on essentials like magnesium, iron, and zinc. Recognizing why this happens is the first step toward rebuilding nutrient density on your plate. A study in the journal Foods reviewed long-term data on fruits, vegetables, and grains over the past 50 to 70 years. The pattern was clear. Mineral concentrations have dropped. Some vegetables lost more than half their iron. Certain fruits now carry nearly 60% less calcium than decades ago. To match your grandparents' nutrition, you need to eat a lot more of the same foods. Yield-focused breeding is a major driver. High output varieties were designed for size, weight, and uniformity. That pushes plants to allocate more energy to carbohydrates and less to storing vitamins and minerals. It's the dilution effect. Food that looks abundant, yet delivers fewer essential nutrients per bite. Industrial farming compounds the issue. Heavy synthetic fertilizers and pesticides reduce soil biodiversity, weakening the microbial partners that help roots draw up minerals. Monocropping drains vitality further, then losses continue after harvest. Lengthy cold storage and long transport times erode nutrients before produce reaches your kitchen. Those losses have everyday consequences. Less magnesium can affect muscle and nerve function. Reduced calcium weakens bones. Lower iron increases fatigue and anemia risk. Over time, the shortfall chips away at your energy, immunity, and cognitive performance, even when you think you're eating well. Reversing the trend means repairing soil and rethinking crop choices. Researchers point to regenerative practices, cover cropping, composting, reduce tillage, and to reintroducing traditional, nutrient-dense varieties. Biofortification can help staple crops regain key minerals. The goal is to restore the living soil ecosystems that move nutrients from earth to plant to you. Soil health is the linchpin. When organic matter and microbial life thrive, Plants consistently contain higher nutrient levels. That reality should inform your choices. Seek out produce from farms that focus on soil, grow a bit of your own food if you can, and consider supplementing wisely when needed to close gaps. A BBC feature on high-yield wheat traced how the Green Revolution boosted calories but shrank nutrient density. Shorter, sturdier plants with larger seed heads produce more starch but proportionally less protein, iron, and zinc. The result is hidden hunger, adequate energy intake with persistent micronutrient deficits. Another factor is the breakdown of plant-microbe partnerships. Traditional varieties relied more on mycorrhizal fungi to ferry minerals from soil to roots. Some modern high-yield lines are less dependent on these fungi, and that can mean fewer minerals in the grain. Solutions include breeding programs that bring older traits back and field practices that restore fungal networks. A Helios report underscored the broader soil crisis. Billions of tons of topsoil disappear annually, with estimates near 24 billion tons. Topsoil is where roots feed on organic matter and minerals. Strip it away, and crops grow in poorer, compacted ground. Add years of NPK-only fertilizers, and soils become lifeless, eroding food quality even when fields still look productive. Regenerative farms tell a different story. Cover crops, reduced tillage, compost additions, and integrating livestock rebuild organic matter and biodiversity. Crops from these systems show higher nutrient density, and the same practices help sequester carbon, linking personal nutrition to environmental recovery in a practical way. You can support that shift through your purchases. Choose regeneratively grown produce when possible. Diversify your diet with heirloom vegetables and heritage grains that often retain stronger nutrient profiles. Ask farmers at markets how they care for soil. 
Their answers reveal whether nutrient quality is a priority. Support local growers who build soil health through CSAs or direct buying. Your dollars tell the market to favor nutrient-dense crops over maximum yield. If you have a patio or small yard, grow herbs, greens, or tomatoes in compost-rich soil, harvest at peak ripeness, and you'll taste and feel the difference. Another lever is your everyday substitutions. Reducing ultra-processed foods, refined grains, and industrial vegetable oils shifts demand away from monocropped commodity systems and makes room for diverse, soil-friendly farming. Replacing packaged snacks with fresh, regeneratively sourced foods closes the nutrient gap one meal at a time. Awareness is your advantage. A shiny apple today isn't nutritionally identical to one grown 50 years ago, but you can act. Choose nutrient-focused farms, bring older varieties to your kitchen, and prioritize soil-building practices with your purchases. Those decisions feed you better now and help protect the food supply for the future. Here's today's challenge. Pick one action you can implement this week. Visit a farmer's market and ask how growers build soil. Sign up for a CSA, plant a pot of leafy greens in compost amended soil, or replace an ultra-processed snack with a heritage grain sourdough or regeneratively grown fruit. Make the choice visible on your next receipt. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.